Hey guys, we're back with more Chrono Trigger. Last time we made it to the Magic Cave on the way to Megas' castle, and we had some enemies here. Some vamps and gremlins. These enemies are only susceptible to magic. They really don't take damage from anything else. I don't think you can hit them with anything else, but... So if you don't have, uh... If you don't have, uh... If you didn't go back and get Frog his magic there, every time you cast magic, he all be like, Oh, where did you get such power? And then you have to go back and do all that nonsense, but I did all that because I knew that was going to happen, and I preempted the game. Sorry I didn't show you that kind of, that dialogue there. Ooh, six tech points, wow. What did I do? Oh, I did a little bit of, uh, grinding there. I went to kill that new in the, uh, thing once, in the, in the Cursed Woods. I went to kill him once just to gain 30 tech points for Pablo there. There's, uh, one of those black treasure chests here. We have some more bats and rats. Rats and bats. Just call this game Boo Haunted House. Oh, that's an old joke. But yeah, nothing too spectacular here. I wouldn't worry too much about running out of uh, tech points or anything, because there's going to be a save point pretty soon. Uh, now, Pablo uses water magic, which for all intents and purposes is exactly the same as... Uh, Sarah's ice magic, but, you know, just has different, I guess, animations or whatever. His magic is also really, really low by comparison, and I will like these rats to not be in my way here. Yeah, if they get to those stairs, they sit pretty much in front of them, and then you have to deal with them. If you can actually outmaneuver them, which is rather difficult, but entirely possible, and then you don't have to fight them, but, I mean, there's, what, five of them? So yeah, I mean, at this point, since you now have the ability to gain more tech points, I recommend pretty much fighting as many battles as possible. Because, you know, while the extra experience will help and whatever, it's the tech points that matter, because um, more tech points open the way to greater abilities, greater abilities open the way to greater dual techs, and you actually get, you know, things that, interesting things that will, that will do... Not, I don't want to say more damage, because most tech, most double techs and triple techs in this game don't do any more real damage than the single techs they're combined to, but... You know, you get access to different kinds of attack patterns, like attacking on a line, or area attacks, and other stuff. Just more unique things to... Uh, 10 tech points. I not much farm in here, that's like... Oh, another battle. That's like, what, 22 tech points already? But yeah, just things to add strategy and depth to the game. You know, just to make it interesting, as we say, in the hood. Okay, not really in the hood, but... Oh, Alright, so... Uh, how's everybody doing today? Probably Wednesday afternoon. Current weather report for not where you live? Pretty nice outside. Kinda chilly. September. Oh, uh, yeah, we just did the battle with one rat. One rat, one cat, one bat. Dead. Alright, there we go. Eight more attack points. Wow, that's that's like 40 or 30 attack points in one area. No written in blood. Oh, okay, well. We'll keep note if we ever run into a juggler. And now, basically, since we are outside, we can use a shelter again. Oh, that still hasn't changed the story arc, but... Magus' is Lair. And we get one of the most dramatic scenes ever. With the bats all flying up like, hey, hey how's it going? That cool looking dragon just sitting at the top there with the awesome music in the background. I gotta hand it to Square. Um, because even if they don't have Uma like Uematsu is a musical genius. Pretty much that's a given for a lot of people. But even like without him, 
like some of the games like Mr. Quest and I don't know if he worked on this game soundtrack. I don't think he did. But, you know, this game soundtrack is also pretty impressive. So Wait. Okay, creepy girl laugh. What's this? Can I take this? You're not gonna stop me? Can I get a mid nether? Hooray! No, oh, a couple children. Uh no, I don't wanna play. What's with all the laughing? Huh, seems like a chair with a sword above it. Can I get the sword? Let me try... no. Oh, fine, I'll leave it there. It just must be for decoration anyway. Ugh. I'll ignore all you people. You weirdo creeps. Uh, someone mentioned uh, the last uh, other video where they saw Ayla running, and she runs like a cat, and, you know, obviously frog is a frog, so he hops. And Magus... I... Uh, uh, what about Magus? If you ever watch him run, he freaking floats. Hey, it's Luca's dad. Oh. Okay. It's Queen Lean. She will always be there, The f and so will this person, because that's my mom. Sheila, is that you? No. Um, but yeah, so only the first person in the line, it could be different. Because it could be, you know... Um, if it's if you take Robo, it's Luca. If you take uh, Marley, it's her the king, her dad. Oh, now there's a little safe one over here. <gasps> What's that? Oh, it's Ozzy Osbourne. I mean Ozzy. <laughs> Sir Froggy. Oh, let's slash Ozzy, slash, and flee. <laughs> if you recognize all the bands those guys are from, then you're probably pretty old. And he says a hundred beasts in Magus Castle. There isn't really a hundred of them. They're... Oh, they only have 120. Okay, I was going to say, wow, he pretty much... Okay, where's where's my targeting? You kill the other bat then, since apparently you can. Uh, Crimson Rain, just other freaking the silly HP down moves. Kind of like the sap effect. Ah, there's one of Pablo's criticals because the hero battle is all like, "Hey, you have a ridiculously powerful critical hit rate." And he's like, "I do, really?" Okay, that's the one he hit. So. Yeah, pretty much you can nearly two-shot everything in this castle with, you know, either Chrono, Pablo, or the, well, two, Chrono, well, Chrono and Pablo, definitely, but with either of us or your third character, you, or Robo, pretty much, if you level him up enough, can one-shot things, but I doubt you're leveled up that high. Twelve tech points. Holy crap. Alright, let's try this way. Um, yes, yes I do. Oh, okay, kids, I'll do that. Ah! Uh, wait a second, that's not funny. There's shadows, um, same principle as in... Uh, see, they only have one hit point, but it's the same principle as in, uh, the future where you fought them before. The other palette swaps of them. Where you have to damage them with magic or energy attack, like Slash. We get a barrier, which ups your physical defense during battle. It's a consumable item. Okay. Alright, we have some more enemies here. Uh, we have Sorcerer, which will constantly heal uh, pretty much the rest of the group. So you need to just get rid of him right off the bat there. <laughs> off the bat. Okay, there we get that. Um, you kill one of the bats there. Yeah, none of these enemies are excessively difficult, except possibly the jugglers, which that note mentioned. We'll come to them later. 
And even then, they're not that difficult. They're just kind of gimmicky. Yeah, I thought that when... I thought that, like, going through the Magic Cave was an indication of what Magus's castle was going to be like. But no, not really. There's no real enemy in here that only... Except for the Shadow, obviously, but that's a special case of its own. Alright, there we go. Get rid of them. Eleven more tech points. Holy crap. This is just like, here, have some tech points. We're 28 for almost lightning 2, 46 for keel, and plenty for... Yay! Basically, take note, anytime that bat leaves your side, you're gonna get in a fight. Okay, well, you can. I guess you can kill that there. Come on, get rid of it. Yes. Alright, so, yeah. We're doing pretty good there, and... Just waiting for more of those Crimson HP down attacks. Oh, thankfully I didn't get one off that, or he didn't get one off that time. Or he just regularly attacked me, that's nice. Enemies in here don't do too much damage. Nothing to be too concerned about. Ugh. That's pretty much like how it'll be for the rest of the game. The regular enemies will be meh. But the bosses will be pretty beasty. Oh, I'm sorry. My not mother. Aw. Yeah, so basically this is just a hallway of three of these fights. Uh, not much you can do about it. You can avoid them if you can get around the person. Because obviously after... Uh... After you exit and talk to Ozzy and whatever, they stop moving. So, you know, they're easy to get around after that. But before that, or, uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But after you talk to Ozzy, they stop moving. So those are easy to get around. Before that, you don't have to fight them if you talk to them. So, you know, kind of I guess it kind of gives you the illusion that, hey, maybe we can just walk through here and talk to these people and not have to fight them. And it's a lie, and you should not do that. Oh, okay, I wasn't. Alright, so that's gone. I still didn't learn? I thought you... Oh, that was only 26. This should be 2, or 6. And 24. Alright, let's do a little prepping here, because it seems we have some kind of monster waiting for us. Alright. The bat runs away, and we have Flea! Oh, it looks like. Well, let's give him a little X strike right at the face. Steals MP. Oh, and he took mine, you jerk. Ugh, well, that was short lived. Oh, there's a real flea? Oh, so that bat that's been following us all along has actually been this chick. Yeah, who are you? No ordinary... Oh. Wait, what? That's a god. That's kind of like Frieza. I'm pretty sure that sprite there has boobs. No, probably not really. He's kind of replaced him with me. Oh, whatever. I want to ask you. And now we're in a fight with the real Magician Flea, and we get this kind of trippy, psychedelic background there. Alright, I need some MP. <laughs> Can't really do much with no MP. Show off Slurp Cut. I don't think I ever actually did. Basically, he just slurps them, drags you to them, and then... Here. Um, you don't really have to worry about protect because you don't have to worry too much about protect because uh, he doesn't do a whole lot of physical attacks just he's gonna try to confuse your party members you can use a heal on them very nice of them to have uh, one healing item for all status ailments 
You don't really have to actually do too much about uh, using Frog's techniques because he's got the huge critical hit rate. Um, I think that will attempt to blind people. It didn't actually blind Frog, even though it hit him, and it missed the other two. But yeah, this is Flea. Nothing too spectacular. Um, it's a couple hundred HP. I don't know if it's that many. Basically, he likes to just status ailment the crap out of you and then go, hey, um... Oh, so now he's not going to critical anymore? Um, it's her turn? Yeah, her turn's almost up. Basically, you can check the ATB gauge, because when a person gets um, confused, I think it resets their gauge. Or it should. No, okay, maybe not. Also, uh, confused party members have a really low chance of actually hitting your own people, which I always thought was kind of weird. But yeah, just keep... Oh, he also has that attack, which does a bit of damage. Okay, what's going on? Oh, just the lag spike there, I guess. Oh, I actually have blind enemy now. Now it's going to be really hard for me to hit anybody with a technique or anything. A, 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 an attack in the slightest. So I'm going to have to get rid of that. Hopefully you bought, you stocked up on some heals. He also is there. That little kiss motion there is actually his physical attack, which does very little. That's probably his most damaging move right there, as you can tell by the numbers. Uh, that should be doing it on <laughs> Megan and not uh, Flea there. That would suck if you could do it on Flea. Uh, gotta like, get her. No! Wrong person! Toys. Yeah, and it's also, if they are confused and attack the enemy, they do very little damage to them, as you saw there. But I don't know if that's just because it was Megan, or she was confused. Um, get some tonics thrown around here. He also has a, obviously, this poison technique here. Which, uh, actually, I think you... No, that's not him. No, it's just HP. I think if you use... There's one attack, one uh, healing move that not only restores... Uh... Stop doing that. Oh, good. At least I can... Oh. What did that do? Wow. So he hit her. That's amazing. Trying to oh, you have no uh, no MP. Oh, he's asleep now. Great. Uh, you can have another mid ether there. There we go. Keep spin cutting and basically just keep doing this until it goes down. I probably should have saved this for the next episode because this is taking a long time. I'm not gonna worry about. Or actually, I will. Yeah. Oh, eight. I used eight heals already? Oh, great. <laughs> That's why I never use heals. They don't freaking do anything. Or, they don't, uh, seem to have any real effect anymore, because it's all like, oh, you can, uh, use a heal on them, and then nine times out of ten, when you go to use the heal, it'll just fucking wake them up anyway. Alright, 500 experience points, ten more tech points. That should be lightning two. Yeah. I don't know, you tell me. Okay, and for that we get a magic tab. But what about the rest of these hundred monsters in the castle? I mean, we still have to deal with, apparently, Slash and Ozzy, and then eventually Magus. The answer to these questions will be found next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I apologize for the length of today's episode. 
But hopefully you don't mind. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, and have a good night, everybody.